Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a, a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising weekly tar reading, September 16th, 22nd, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the uh, tarot cards, and uh, we are going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of Leo uh, week, the very theme here is going to be the Five of Cups, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you Leo need to uh, overcome here, that is going to be the Seven of Pentacles, followed by the next one which is the Nine of Swords, that is going to be the uh, positive aspect of your week, and then the last one here, it will be the full card which represents the... Um, the guidance the Tsaro is offering. So uh, this is going to be a week of return. Um, I don't know if I'm going to, I'm expressing myself right here, but it is more like a, a week where you save the week, all right? A week where you think which is utterly, you thought that it is utterly lost. I now have a chance to be resuscitated, as a chance to be lucrative or successful. But before we go into all that and um, scrutinize the reading, let's run the cards one more time. So Five of Cups is the first one, followed by the next one that is going to be the topic though. Uh, then it is the next one, which is the Seven of Pentacles here, which stands for the uh, challenges that you need to overcome. Afterwards is going to be the positive aspect of the Nine of Swords. And then we do have the full card, which stands for the guidance. All right, so Five of Cups as a topic is catalyzed or accompanied by the King of Swords. And we do have uh, the uh, passive neutrals here into this uh, position. So this week, uh, it, it looks like that your attitude with these two cards, the Five of Cups and the King of Swords, is going to be quite... Um, how do you say it when you deny failure, you know, that that such kind of an attitude, all right, where uh, even though uh, your career or your marriage or your relationship life may be on the rock at that point, okay, or one of these things can be on the rock, you will deep down within yourself know that that, that, that doesn't have to be the case, okay, and you can do something to improve it. You can do something to reverse uh, the uh, the course of events here, or for example, you know, going badly in um, in relationship or career. Now, with these two cards, it does look like that you're gonna make a peace with uh, with the present uh, with the present situation, with the present circumstances, and instead of pitying yourself, you know how how much you lost, uh, you are to adopt the mindset here of what can you do with what you can work with at that particular point. So at that time, you're going to become very calculative and very um, focused, okay? Very focused upon uh, the uh, current means that you do have 
and current leverages as well that you do have either into your career or into your uh, relationship life and through careful analysis upon those means upon those leverages upon the uh, the the levers that you can pull and alter the outcome of the situation it does look like that the path um, out of difficulties for you is going to be revealed so what is the most important thing here is to maintain your calm um, your calmness all right is to maintain your a sharp mind, your sharp thought. It is very important. Do not fall into panic, even if the things aren't unfolding very well for you, all right? There is always a way out with these two cards. And the most important thing that you need to, uh, uh, that you need to stick to, it is your goal. Just because right now things are not developing exactly the way you want, things are looking rather a bit grim, a bit morbid, that should not be a prerequisite for you to quit. Just on the contrary, it has to be a prerequisite for you to push even harder, to try harder, because at the end of the day, you should not deviate from the path that you are, that you have chosen, all right, the goal that you have chosen, the marriage that you have chosen, the, 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 the career path that you have chosen, and as well, these setbacks or losses that you may be uh, recently experiencing, they're just partial things, okay, they can be regained, it is not something that you can die from. So the next one is going to be the challenge itself throughout the week, and that is going to be the Seven of Pentacles catalyzed or accompanied, in other words, with the judgment. <clears throat> So first of all, with these two cards, they are passive neutrals. And what they mean it is that while there is a, a many ways that you can tackle, you know, one a relationship or one career or whatever you are, whatever is going on in, you know, within your life right now, you know, the um, it is most important thing here. It is to, um, how do I say it? Uh, not to rush things, okay, not to be reckless and uh, to recognize the most efficient way. So the whole challenge is going to be um, adopting and recognizing the most efficient way, how you can deal with, um, <clears throat> with your plights and as well uh, catching up your breath because you may feel restless throughout the week to reverse, you know, the misfortunate course of events, either into a project, like I said, uh, into your career, or either into your relationship. But that will not gonna happen with a, a frantic performance, all right? It's gonna happen with rather more meticulous and calculative performance because the Seven of Pentacles here points that it's gonna be challenging for you to hold out to hold down your breath and think carefully how much you are to invest into something so you get some returns because there is no point you throwing everything you got and achieving a thing you know that it simply isn't worth the price so it's very important here to set up a, a price of your goal and do not invest more than the price itself for example, if someone it is your life, then obviously, I mean, you accept that someone it is your life or you recognize that someone it is your life, obviously you will want to throw in um, everything that you that you do got. But if you determine that you can live with, without something, you know, it is not really advisable for you to, to throw everything you got. I hope that you get what I mean here. But another thing with these cards also, these two cards, is that you may hope that... Um, some new means or some new resources are going to come in your way. While what these two cards are pointing as a challenge, uh, it is that you do have everything you need to reverse the situation, to reverse the situation in your, um, in your plus, in your positive. And for that reason, um, you don't have to wait anymore. But once again, um, you have to be rather more calculative, okay? Because I'm saying you don't have to wait anymore, meaning that you need to do something about it. Yes, but that doing has to be has to be efficient because just doing something for the sake of doing it isn't doing anything. So the next card that we do have for you, Leo, is going to be about the positive aspect and that will be the, the Nine of Swords 
accompany it with the world. So we do have an, an active or catalyzed by the world. So we do have an active enemies here. And this is another testament of denying failure. It's simply you reject, uh, you are to reject, to acknowledge that things are over. A, a very potent thing, you know, for reconciliation, for example, or getting back on the previous job or regaining back a state or a promotion and etc. etc. These two cards simply are saying that this endeavor is far from over. I mean, things are not set yet and it's, it can go either way. As a matter of fact, it can go the way you want as long as you're willing to to chase it as long as long as you're willing to not give up from that uh, from that either relationship or from that either career as well now the other good thing with these two cards here is that the circum the the consequences here the repercussions of your actions are not going to be as bad as you think all right so you need to be a little bit more braver and there we do have that thin line that i said beforehand you know it's that you should not be reckless but in the same time you you need to be a little bit more braver when it comes to um, utilizing certain means or utilizing certain a, a resources. So you still have a, a long road in front of yourself and there is no need whatsoever prematurely to end it. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you a, a few examples. Um, <clears throat> Because uh, this is how I decided to run the readings now. Instead of giving the examples along the way while I'm doing the reading, first I'm going to do the reading and then I'm going to give the examples. So the next one is going to be in regards to the guidance the Tsar is offering. And we do have the full card here accompanied with the temperance. So, uh, or catalyzed by the temperance. So we do have a active friends. And uh, first of all, these two cards are urging you to believe into the brighter future or rather like to allow yourself to believe that there is a, a brighter ending there is a, a good ending here uh the the bad i mean in, in this movie you know actually it is possible the bad guy to die at the end if you know what i mean figuratively speaking but uh, also these two cards are saying that there will be a lot of chores for you to uh, to tackle with when it comes to reversing the course of events of your marriage or of your career and uh, and with these two cards as well your position right now or the way you uh, you anticipate of doing things from now on is a little bit of an outdated and therefore you will have to to kind of like um, synchronize your expectations with the expectations of the other side, either, you know, your husband or a wife or your boss and etc, etc. So what I'm saying here with these two cards is that the, uh, the terms of negotiations are really open. I mean, the table of negotiations is awaiting for you there is a seat there for you and your voice is going to be heard and on top of that is going to be acknowledged and honored so it's very important as well to speak up your mind and with these two cards should you be um open-minded enough to consider uh, rearrangements into one's plan to, re to to consider rearrangements into the rules of the game as well a a lot can be achieved as a matter of fact the full card here points that you can have the world if you want to all right or if you are willing to how do i say it you know to tackle with the chores and as well to uh, align yourself with the new set of rules of the game so uh the few examples right now uh very briefly here guys uh, that week it does look like that for example if your marriage is on a verge of breaking all right and it's a verge of a, a divorce it does look like that you can do something to save it if you want to that is all right you are uh you are facing a um being fired let's say into your career well this week it does look like that is going to give you the circumstances that you can prove your boss other way around all right that you do have what to offer into this career uh, into this career path into the company into the firm that you can fit with the team that you can follow the rules and so on and so forth so it's a very good week here where you can um you can reverse failure into success it's it's an awesome thing uh but first uh first step goes through you um resigning 
for the current circumstances. Stop pitying yourself and think of what you can do with what, with, with what you have to work with instead of um, commiserating on what you could have had and what you could have accomplished with what you could have had but you don't have, right? So stop focusing on the negative and focus on what it is right now. Do not concern yourself with what could have been but concern yourself with what is and do the most out of it. So that being said, Leo, this was your weekly tarot reading for September 16th to September 22nd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.